Now then, guys, how are we doing? Thank you for joining me again. So it's Cup Final time. Cup Finals, Hamden Park against Aberdeen. Aberdeen, realistically, a team that we should be beating, let's be completely honest. As we've now wrapped up the season, Celtic lost their last three games of the season, ended up finishing in third place, as you can see down there. Rangers finished four points clear, and we finished on 103 points. I think we need to talk about our performance. 144 goals we scored, we only conceded 17, a goal difference of 127, 103 points on the board, absolutely dominated the league. The fact that we only wrapped it up with three games to go is absolutely mind-boggling. It genuinely is. When you, when you think the season before, we'd wrapped it up 101 points on the board there. Season before that, 109 points. You know, we only lost one game all season. I think that was the last game of the season, was it, against Celtic? Absolute heartbreak as we went for the Invincible season. But yeah, it is what it is. But today, all about Aberdeen as we go for the treble treble. But let's have a look at how we got to the final in the first place. So we began with a 3-0 victory over Partick Thistle. Obviously, that was a game where we got to meet Kingsley. 3-0 there, absolutely bossed it. 2-2 draw with Rangers before we beat them at home 4-0. 5-1 victory over St. Johnson. And we absolutely smashed Celtic 7-1 in the Scottish Cup semi-final. Absolutely dominated. Aberdeen, on the other hand, began with a 2-0 victory over Motherwell and a 5-0 victory over Albion Rovers. Just great past Queen's Park with a 2-1 victory there. And then a 1-0 victory against Hamilton in the semi-final. Lewis Mayo goal on 31 minutes gets them through. But today, surely, we're going to be too much for them. So team selection, then we've gone with Lietz in goal, Ramirez, Hidalgo, Taksanowski and Wankwato at the back with Ayodele and Jap in the middle. Hadidi and Signorelli out wide, be caught and Kearney up front. Now that man, Banujan, is injured again. Injured again. He come back from his knee injury in the last episode and he's out injured again. There is a real concern there with his injuries as well. There really is. As I might get Augusto Cesar in. He's going in for Taksanowski. That's the way we're going to play. Submit the team before I change your mind. And this is it, guys. Hopefully, like I say, a treble treble at the end of this. As Emily McIntosh says, I think this is our best team. And Will Norris says, Court is starting good. Team selection-wise for them, don't really recognise any of our players. Miel is a decent player, but that is about it. Nobody else there. Obviously, Lewis Mayo, the goal scorer in the semi-final. But we should be we should be too good here. I want you to pick up where you left off last time out. As form has picked up again, which is good. But Aberdeen are going to line up one up front. Like I say, Miel, that player that we need to watch. As we make our way out onto the Hamden Park pitch... All singing, all dancing, let's go. As highlight then, in the first three minutes, Hadidi with the ball in. Hidalgo, we score! Adolfo Hidalgo, fifth goal of the season. Perfect start for us, 1-0. Milliken, is that the goalkeeper's name? I think it is. Palms it into his own there. It's quite poor there. But a decent ball from Hadidi, pinpoint. Hidalgo's there, yeah, keeper punches it into his own net. It's not what you need when you've got all the way to the cup final. But there is a highlight from kickoff. Mayo on the ball end to Kirk. We've got to be turning this one over. As Iodel is there, Signorelli picking it up. Signorelli playing out on that right-hand side. We'll see how he does today. As caught to Kearney. Four minutes in, guys. We're 2-0 up. It's two goals in a minute. <laughs> Kearney with the goal. That is it. Game over. Four minutes in. It's decent play. You know, Signorelli's direct. He goes through. Then caught. That's a great pass to Kearney. who's on the shoulder. And he's passed the goalkeeper before anyone understands what's happening. And there we go, 2-0. Millie Kenny goals on a 6.3 already. That is poor. I'm going to chuck out some praise. The guys deserve it after an absolute thunderous start. This is a highlight then on 15 minutes. Fleming picks it up to Wilson. Young on it. Wilson again as he goes to Kelly. Come on, let's not be conceding here. Silly, at 15 minutes gone. Juan Cuarto gets a foot in and we're breaking away again. It's Kearney, it's 2-2. Two on two. Court's going, they've backed off, Court, can he wrap it up? Of course he can. Daryl Court, what a finish, what a breakaway. 15 minutes, 3-0. It's 31st goal of the season as well, I think, and there you go. As Kearney picks it up, they don't know what to do. He's backing away, Court is on his way. It's a great finish right across the goalkeeper, into the far corner. As there's another highlight, Hadidi, 16 minutes gone here. Hidalgo off the bar, Court picks it up. Where's he going with it? And they stick it out. Kirk puts it into Rose Ed. But that could have been 4 0 in 17 minutes. Another highlight 18 minutes. Ramirez down. Right, we get it again. Ayodele on a card to Hidalgo. Out to Ramirez. Ball to Hadidi. It's across, it's blocked. And Watt picks it up. All right, Kelly on it. They're going to break away. Young. Ball through, cut out, Hidalgo reads it well, but then he falls over, Watson, but Ramirez tidies it up. Hadidi again. 
Right, go on. Where's he going with it? Ball to Signorelli. Signorelli, have a crack, lad. Oh, it's a great save, though. Milliken makes the save this time and holds it. We are creating now. Six shots, five on target. 3 nil up. 55% possession. It's 26 minutes now gone. I think for me, I'm going to chuck more prayers out there. Let's just keep the heads high. But yeah, easy pickings this. 40 minutes gone. Five minutes of the first half. And there we go. We tick into half time. Look at the amount of key passes there. That first 45 minutes was incredible. Ayodele then on a yellow. On a 7 rim, but we're going to get him off. Garone on. That's my only change at half time. And let's go. There's Kearney on a 7.6. Hidalgo's on a 7.5. Obviously, scoring the goal certainly helps. But we're getting towards Elmar. Kadidi with the free kick in. Hidalgo doesn't get there this time. Emil's running, but we should be boxing him out here. As they go back, Kirk. Over the top. Easy. Augusta Cesar on it. To Hidalgo. To Hadidi. Ball over the top to Kearney. Oh, that's incredible. What a pass. 37th goal of the season for him. Hadidi with a killer pass. Now they turn over possession far too easy. Hadidi's got loads of time there. But that pass. And Kearney off the shoulder again. 4-0 now. Hadidi again. It's a similar area. It's caught. Scores. 32nd goal of the season. 5-0 now. It's a demolition. Game over. And we are absolutely incredible. Genuinely caught. The keeper's in no man's land. What is he doing? Keeper's still on a 6.3. Caught with two goals. Kearney with two goals. They're in possession again. Watt. With it through. To Buxton. Ball through. Yeah, it's easy. Liette is there all day long to clean that up. 62 minutes gone. Then I'm going to look at making some changes soon. Hadidi may come off. I'm not quite sure. Signorelli picks it up. You know, he's out of position as well, but Signorelli's running with it. He's not had a bad game. Has caught on it to Kearney for his hat-trick. And there we go, 38th goal of the season. And, you know, Court could be getting the match ball as well. They're going to have to be fighting over it, I reckon, because I think Court's got another goal in him. But there we go, Signorelli. He has been good. He's on a 6.8, apparently. But we've seen a lot of him on the ball. Has caught with the pass through to Kearney. It's a great finish. Right, so we're going to make changes then on 65 minutes. As Lopez is going to come on for Jap. Guilherme for Cesar. And that is it. That is it. That is all my changes made. As Aberdeen have only had 7 shots, 2 on target. We have 13 and 9. 53% possession with 15 minutes to go. Kearney with the hat trick. Like I say, Hidalgo has put up a card. But Kearney on a 9.5. Del Court on a 9.2. But here we go. 6 0. Couple of minutes left. Doesn't look like we're going to get another chance. The substitutions have killed the game. But they've killed the game in a good way for us. 6-0. Absolute dominance. And there we go. It's a treble treble. Well deserved and all. Let's get the cheers on. Let's get this trophy lift in. Getting used to it now. Obviously it's basically our cup in it. Let's be honest. Hamden is our home. It might as well be. We spend enough time there. And there we go. There's a trophy lift. There's a confetti. We have done it. I could say that was a bit of a let off. 6 0 up, bit of a let off. Congratulations, lads. Well done. And there we go. So, Hearts lift the Scottish Cup. Classic Kearney on form. Victorious Hearts celebrate for him. There's treble there, all the headlines. Anton Diamond says, fantastic result. Defended well, attacked well. Just a brilliant all round performance. Max Robinson says, being able to watch players like Kearney is why I love this job. Absolutely. Dundee win 2 1 against Livingston. So, Dundee will be staying in. Livingston is at the second season in a row, I think, that they haven't made it through to the Premier League. They've gone out in the playoffs twice. As we celebrate a famous treble, obviously. Look at the look at the amount of times we've won it there. Wowzers. Hearts lift the Scottish Cup. We get 719k for winning it. Suta Hills, true Hearts legend. I was talking about myself, I love that. Hearts board, happy with the Scottish Cup win and classic Kearney's on form. What an absolute boy. And there we go, guys. That is the domestic season wrapped up, done and dusted. And we got the treble again. We just need to crack Europe. Absolutely need to crack Europe. But yeah, I think, obviously, for me, then, you know, looking at the schedule, it is done and dusted. It doesn't really matter what's going on there. That bit of form there is what's killed us, though, really. Those two games against Milan, broken the heart. But there we go. So what we're going to do in the next episode is we'll do the awards and the transfers. I don't think there's too much that we need to do, if I'm completely honest. There's a couple of positions that I would like to strengthen. But up top, we're absolutely packed. Probably need another, I would say, I was going to say world class, but an elite central midfielder is what we're after. Ayodele there, Jap there, Horabine there as well. You know, Garone, I think it's time for him to move on, but there's not too much more I think we need to do. So, yes, then, guys, 
obviously if you've got any ideas of where we need to strengthen leave it in the comments greatly appreciate it if you do but i think we're just we're about there now hopefully milan take the champions league crown and we can just put it down to being beaten by the winners but yeah thank you very much for watching as always stay safe and i'll catch you later Ta-ra.